Recent disasters have led to a renewed interest in high availability and disaster recovery. It's still the case that many organisations don't have adequate protection in the event of disaster, and even if they do, this is seldom tested. Global businesses want to end the nightmare of the so-called overnight maintenance window. This simply doesn't exist any longer. Thanks to the internet and e-commerce, expectation for performance and availability have led to organisations seeking something which is best in class. Let's start by exploring the types of downtime. We can divide downtime into two groups. Unplanned downtime, which can be the result of some kind of failure, and planned downtime, which occurs when we need to do some kind of maintenance to the system or to the underlying data. Server failures are fairly obvious, and the very best technology for handling database server errors is real application clusters. Data failures are a little more complex. They can be the result of human error, data corruption, storage failures, or even site failures. For human errors, Oracle has flashback technologies for error detection and correction, which is not a function of database size. Flashback is easy to use. It's just a single command to recover. Data corruptions are a big deal. Any component in the system stack can fail and cause data corruptions. Application software, hardware, network, or even human error. They're potentially disastrous and can be very hard to debug and diagnose. Oracle has intrinsic checks to detect and repair corruptions using checks and validation, semantic checks, and detecting acknowledged rights which are actually lost by the I.O. subsystem. Site failure can only be protected against by implementing disaster recovery provision. But the majority of organisations never benefit from the DR investment. It's seen as expensive, so either nothing is purchased or it's underconfigured. Users are typically afraid of DR because it may not work. Oracle Active Data Guard provides the best failure protection at the lowest cost. For planned downtime, we need to start being able to do things online. With Oracle Database, reconfiguration, upgrades and redefinition can all be done online. With the database grid, we can reconfigure and scale on demand. Rack allows nodes to be added and removed. ASM does the same for storage. Simple one-off patches can be applied to a running Oracle Database. More complex patches can be deployed online using rack rolling patches. Database releases and patch set upgrades, operating system upgrades, platform migrations can all be applied in rolling fashion using Active Data Guard. Data center moves, SAM migrations and technology refreshes can be done with minimal downtime using Active Data Guard. With regard to redefinition, all index changes can be done online, and in addition, tables can be reorganized and redefined online. Oracle's maximum availability architecture encompasses solutions to minimize the cost of downtime. You can find more detail by watching the webisode chapters to my right.